Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I am bringing back policy envelopes. I made these, um, I believe in my 2018 craft fair series, but I just made them out of paper. And I decided why not go ahead and just cut away on this acetate pad that I have. And how beautiful these would be as policy envelopes and they would make great envelopes for flat mail. Um, in my craft group, we are going to be doing a flat mail swap and um, so that's gonna be going on for the next two weeks. And so anyway, I just, I started thinking, who, what would I want? How would I wanna do mine? Because flat mail is anything you can make and make sure it's in a flat envelope and get it as flat as you can. And so I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna cut away this acetate pad. I got this at Tuesday morning. Um, and I've had this for quite a little while, probably about six months. Uh, but anyway, I decided, you know, the colors are just beautiful. Let's just go with it. And y'all, they made the most beautiful policy envelopes. I can just picture these in flat mail with confetti inside. And it'd be like a party in an envelope. It really would. Okay, let's make one. Okay, so these this is a 12 by 12 paper collection, um, uh, acetate. But the only thing is, is at the top you've got your little, you've got your little circle up here, and so you want to make sure you're cutting that away. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I've pulled out a purple one, and I went ahead and I have cut away the top, and it made it about 11 and a half inches okay by 12 and so i just had to make it down like that because i needed to get rid of that little circle in the top so that's all good okay so i'm just going to put this on my scoreboard and i am going to score this at three inches and actually i think i'm going to flip this over because i want to have those nice beautiful vibrant colors on the outside of my envelope and I want my creases to be going the correct way. So I'm doing it at three inches and then eight and three fourths. And then I'm gonna turn it and score one inch on each end. And actually it does come right at 12 inches. So cutting it down made it exactly 12 inches. So, okay, so now I've got my creases. Everything is looking good. And look how these stripes just line up so nice. Oh my goodness. Right now with everything with coronavirus and everything, this would make such a sweet treat for someone to get in the mail. Okay, so down here on the bottom, I've got my one inch score line. I'm gonna cut at an angle up to that score line. And then I'm gonna go over here to this part right above this score line. And kind of cut myself a little angle out of there. I'm gonna do the other, do the same for the other three sides. Like I said, I will link my video that I did about a year and a half ago, and it has different sizes. Um, it has different sizes of policy envelopes. If you want to make a smaller envelopes, you don't have to make the bigger ones. So I'll link it below, that way then if you are interested and haven't made policy envelopes before, if you want to have dimensions for other sizes, you can check that out. I am on my last one. So there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I get all my things all nicely folded. Look how those line up so nice. Gonna get this all folded up. And then fold this one. So now we have our envelope shape. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use my score tape and this overlaps about a half an inch, maybe around there. So I'm just gonna use, this is my quarter inch score tape and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put myself some score tape and then I'm gonna peel it off and then I'm gonna add in another piece of score tape. Yes, I am done making masks. I have made 57 in a week. So I'm gonna add one more piece. I've got them all mailed. They're going to Las Vegas, they're going to Phoenix. I've sent some to Mississippi. And so yep, hopefully my family members that I've sent them to will be able to use them. extra tape there. Okay, so now I'm going to get this folded down. Got my tape and gently get it folded over. Get this pressed down really well. And there we go. Look at that. It only shows a little bit of the, the tape underneath there, so that's okay. I'm going to get this one folded up. I'm really excited to make some flat mail in these envelopes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Let me get that one peeled off. See if I can, I might, I can put two. It just gives it extra stability. I could have used my half inch, but I think it might have ended up being too wide. So I just wanted to have that little bit of extra. Because I don't want to take the beauty, take away the beauty of the envelope itself. So I want to make sure it's good and secure. Okay. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Okay, I'm going to put one piece on the top. That way it already has adhesive for when I mail it. And there it is. How simple is this? Who wants to go out and buy your buy envelopes? You get the drab yellow ones, you know. And uh, you can just make your own. They're just absolutely just beautiful. Can't y'all picture it? with a beautiful white label with the trim that matches the color and the acetate, the purple here. And just, it just, just put confetti inside and just a very festive um, flat project inside and it would just be absolutely gorgeous. You probably, hopefully the post office won't ruin it by adding a big sticker on the side. Hopefully you can do get away with doing like 288 cent stamps or something like that and um, that would suffice, but I am excited. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I love these so much. I hope that you will give them a try. If you want to make just regular envelopes, make regular envelopes, but if you have any of this acetate, it makes it beautiful, festive envelopes. It really does. So anyway, thanks so much everyone for watching this quick little tutorial. I'm going to come back because I'm going to start creating my flat mail. I'm pretty excited about it. So anyway, I want it to be festive and beautiful. That's what I want. I might send a few out. Um, I'm thinking about sending out maybe to my sisters or something like that as well as my swap partner. But anyway, thanks so much everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have had a wonderful, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. And thanks so much. And hey, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And don't forget to leave me a, a nice comment. I would really love seeing them and I love reading them. Thanks so much, everyone. Y'all have a good day. Bye.